All right, accessory review time. One flight, everybody knows the rules. No, I just stole that from that pizza guy, but I'm gonna try out these FPV drone prop adapters and see if they really make this thing fly better than it does with stock props. Let's try it out. All right, so I know I jokingly said one flight, everybody knows the rules when I walked up, but I actually didn't fly this thing one time. I flew it four packs. That's the most I've ever flown this thing in one day ever since I've gotten it. And I can give you my honest opinion if you don't want to watch this video to the end, these little prop adapters actually help this thing fly a little bit better. It flies better. Um, there are There is probably one negative that I'll tell you about, but for the experience that I got flying it from you know day one of getting it to changing out the prop adapters it is probably worth your $25 for a set of these to be able to get a little bit better performance out of your drone so negative let's start with the negatives first and I only have one real negative actually maybe two two negatives um, negative number one is that if you go with the prop adapters you lose the convenience of the quick detach props because you know when you're out in the field or you're out somewhere where you sh maybe shouldn't be flying who wants to pull out a couple of tools and some wrenches and tighten these things down and take like five minutes to get it all set up and when they can just you know pop on the props really quickly go pop them off and you know get out of dodge if they have to um negative number two uh usually i don't think anybody ever balances uh fpv props because you can tune it out with rpm filtering pit tuning get rid of that vibration and you know it's crashing part of the game so a little bit of shaking uh that bad Whereas this is not an FPV drone and shaking could throw off the calibration of the sensors in this thing. And what I noticed was um, on takeoff, I had a little bit of jello, a little bit of dance there coming up off the ground, which I've never experienced with these stock props. Now, again, take that with a grain of salt because I am flying the floppy props. I know guys are like, oh, some people have had those explode on them. I ain't throwing this thing around trying to break it. I'm doing some smooth piloting, a flip and roll every now and then, and they seem to be holding up. What I've noticed between these and the original props or the stock props is that whenever I would do a flip or a roll or a power loop, this thing would scream like those props are going to break off anyway because they were just so flexible and the airfoil was crap on them probably that, you know, it made that high pitch uh, racing plane or what do you call it, racing wing noise and these don't do it. They're a lot quieter. So maybe positive number one, 
It's much quieter prop. I know the other props, the stock props that I'm out here flying in my little test field here, people can hear them probably all throughout the neighborhood because they just scream when you're doing a flip or a roll or something crazy like a power loop. Um, positive number two, yeah, you're going to be able to try different types of props. Now, I know a lot of people have done tests to kind of narrow that down to like I think a 52, 40, 34 or something like that. I don't have any of those. I only got 51 fours and 51 threes in my big old giant box of props because I sell props and I sell everything else and I got nothing that would fit this. But... Um, floppy props and 51s and 53s um, are 513s and 514s. Um, I feel like these fly, fly, fly. I feel like these fly fine for my fly, fly. <laughs> damn, tongue twister. I feel like these fly fine for my style of flying. Bam, got it. Yeah, so I probably will keep these on. I like the convenience of them too. So for me, a positive is the fact that I can now fold these down. And stick them in my, my my camera bag. They fold down. They probably don't take up any more space than they would with uh you know without the props on. And I could pull this out and get up and get in the air quicker than having to snap on the OEM quick release props. Flight performance. I can tell you. Um, yeah, I felt the change. Like I said, I flew four packs, and then the first ones it was it was screaming extremely windy out earlier. So I was like, let me just wait for the wind to die down. As you can probably see, I'm standing in the shadow right now because. This thing is like I tell you in other videos, it's so susceptible to wind gusts and, and wind turbulence that it makes it uncomfortable to fly. And I just really couldn't feel out whether or not these props are giving me any better performance without the effect of the wind. And the reason that they fly, this thing flies crazy in the wind is because you got four airfoils here that are actually four wings that are going to track and steer this thing in the direction it's going. I've done power loops and come out of that power loop and was like way off where I didn't. You know, I went up in the power loop and came out and was like way off where I didn't expect it to come off. That's because when I went up, I probably went off on an angle and this thing just flew into that angle and came out of the power loop on a different uh, on a different angle. So waited for the wind to die down, came out here, flew it for a couple more packs, and I, I like the way that it flies. It, it did require me to, to kind of adjust my flying style a little bit because it was a little bit more nimble, um, a little bit more agile. I guess nimble and agile are the same thing. And it felt to me like it had... A little bit more power maybe like I just felt like you know I wasn't pumping the throttle as much and when I did it, it responded to it a little bit better than it did with the stock props on it. and again call me you know a newbie at this stuff with all the props and all the different you know pictures picture props but for me going from the stock props to these felt like I had a more nimble drone this thing usually flies like it weighs five pounds and when I flew it with these props on with these floppy props on it felt heavier I like a heavy six, like a, no, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't say, let's say like a heavy five inch. It felt like a very heavy five inch, but definitely flyable. Like something that maybe have a, have a GoPro on it. I don't know, but it flies in a way that now I feel like it's closer to my standard FPV drones so that I don't have to relearn how to fly every time I go from this to that, right? And that's one of the reasons why I haven't flown this so much is because with the stock tune on this and with the stock props on this, you just got to fly it like you're flying a tank. You can't fly it. And for me personally, I couldn't fly it. You know, with any type of finesse or accuracy because it had, you know, a huge dead band for this center stick sensitivity. It had the Expo set turned up to like 75. And I don't even know what the last one was. The rates, I don't even know where they are, but I kind of left them where they were, which made it a very, like, I guess, stable bird. They were looking for something that flies a little bit more stable. Again, because this is not a freestyle or racing drone. It is a camera drone that's able to do some flips and rolls. Guess that's this. So. Without all that, you know, with all the, I guess I'm in five minutes in, without all the fluff, without all of the craziness and trying to, you know, show you a lot of, you know, talk you into buying something because I'm not selling these. I would say for $23, it's worth the investment. Go out and grab yourself a set. They're easy to put on. All you got to do is remove these three little, and uh, I guess they're Torx bit screws underneath, or you can't see them because these are covering it. But you remove the screws holding on a stock adapter, a quick detach adapter, put the new one on, bolt it down. Take the little wrenches that they have. There's a little nut on the bottom here. You can grab with one wrench and then tighten the top one down, and you're good to go. Um, I guess it will loosen up over time, but I did find that putting the the nuts on the top was a little bit tight. It was uh, it required a, a decent amount of force to get it to go on, but I think they're lot nylon lines, so that's going to keep them from coming off, and that's a safety feature. So no complaints there. But like I said, other than that, the only thing I would probably want to test is battery life because I didn't get a chance to see whether or not it actually gave me any better performance when it came to battery life, but I mean, I don't know, when you're getting seven, eight minutes out of this thing when you're banging it around and maybe 12 if you're flying it calm. Felt like it stayed within the same range. So, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm about to pack it up. I'm going to go in here and put this online. I'll get back to you soon. I hear Mavic 3 is coming. Thanks for following the channel. Talk to you later.